Over the last decade, the NFL has set its sights on expanding internationally. As part of that initiative, the league developed a program to help identify talented foreign athletes whose skill and athleticism could translate to American football. This year, one of the NFL's most unlikely underdogs just so happens to come from down under. His name, Valentine Holmes. His background, rugby. Valentine is a superstar back home in Australia. He's one of the best players in rugby league. It's been a massive sort of journey. I've played in a World Cup. I've played in what they call Four Nations. I always try and just give 100% in everything I do at training or on the field. You know, I try not to come off the field with any regrets. He represents his country, scored multiple tries, and you know he made this decision himself to take that step and that leap and back himself to, to try a different sport. Determined to push his limits as a professional athlete, Valentine is willing to risk his superstar status in Australia, all for a chance to play in the NFL. I was born and raised in Townsville, uh, Australia. My biggest challenge, you know, obviously making this transition, I would just be um, probably just training my hardest. You know, I've got a lot catching up to do, and um, you know, I've got to obviously learn the playbook a lot, and you know, ten times harder than than most of these other guys because I didn't play college ball, I didn't, you know, play high school. He's achieved everything at a very young age. He wants to challenge himself um, against the best athletes in the world. I want to be a professional football player because, you know, I just wanted to prove to people in Sydney that. That, you know, we can do it as well from a, from a country town, and you know, I thought no better way to try and push myself to, to bigger heights and, and um, you know, challenge myself even more, and then come over here with the best. And the best is exactly what Valentine will be up against. We've narrowed it down to seven players, and they're going to spend three months training in Florida from January through to start of April, and the best four players will be allocated to NFL teams. Hey, Monday's all about ghetto. For the next three months, their focus is football. 12 hours a day, six days a week. All for a chance in the National Football League. The typical week, it will be a six-day week, and every day has a different focus. The NFL Pathway program has provided the prospects with some of the best coaches, trainers, and facilities in the country to help bridge the gap between the fundamentals and becoming a professional American football player. We got a couple of guys that are a little bit more raw than others, so we're gonna have to maybe do some extra tutoring or some extra time to, to help persuade them along. Obviously, we're all here for, for one purpose, to try to get a, a spot on the team, and um, yeah, we're all gonna train hard, work our backside off to, to do that, and wanna try to be the best athlete you can to give yourself the best shot. Next up. Little things, guys. This game is all about the little things. If you do the little things, the big things are easy. Simple as that. So, five most important thing is what? Alignment, assignment, technique, technique execution. and what? Finish. Finish. If you do those things, guys, and you work hard, you got a chance, all right? So, starting out today. You know, it's such a, not only a, a total different ball game, but it's a, a big move. You know, it was a, a massive flight to come over here and, and to try and pursue something that I've never really played before, I've only watched. I've got, definitely got a lot of work to do in this next three months. You know, I just want to push myself and, and see by the end of the three months whether I'm worthy enough to, you know, to be able to play straight away in the NFL. You got a four down front, all right? Trips right, four down front, okay? Mike, the old line has the four down in the mic. We played yeah. quite a tough sport back home, and you know, I'm not afraid of contact, I'm not afraid to get hit, so if I want to play in the receiver or even at, at running back, you know, I've got to know whether I'm blocking, whether I'm you know, running a specific route, and then I've got to know what the defense is doing. But if the defense is up here, though, i got to get my hands where? Get ready to fight. So, comfortable stance. Here we go, on the quarterback. There's a lot of talent out there. It just needs to be coached and pointed in the right direction. With the first weeks of training complete, the focus shifts toward preparing the athletes for their biggest audition of their career. One, two. The International Scouting Pro Day, an event that will feature a series of exercises designed to test their athleticism and technique.
with coaches, scouts, and cameras from around the league in attendance. Their performances today will gauge how their talent stacks up not only against elite college players in the U.S., but each other. It's one thing my dad's always told me is just to try and play every game like it's your last. Um, because obviously you don't know when it is going to be your last. Um, so I always try and just give 100% in everything I do at training or on the field. You know, I try not to come off the field with any regrets. With the measurable testing behind them, they'll now find out whether they are going on to the NFL or going home. End of a long 12 weeks. <laughs> sure is. He's not in it for the money. He's not in it for the fame. He's not in it for any of that. He left all that back in Australia. There's good news in that you're going to be allocated through this program yeah. to a club, OK? Um, so congratulations. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, this opportunity just arose for me. and. And I think it was definitely a calling for, for me to take it on and, and um, it's exciting that this dream come true and, and keep pushing for what's next to come after that. Hello, Valentine speaking. Oh, hello, Valentine. This is Mike McCagnan. I'm the general manager of the New York Jets. Oh, hello. How are you? You also have Valentine Holmes, a professional rugby player from Australia. I like that. Great name. I see a trend here with He's going to join the Jets. Valentine Holmes is off to the Big Apple. He is, Peter. Got a call this morning from the New York Jets, which took the 23-year-old a huge step closer to realising his dream of playing in the NFL. It's crazy, you know, I'm sitting in New York City right now where I could be probably back in Australia, so it's, um, you know, it's, it's crazy how things happen in life, but definitely not taking it for granted and really loving it. Hi, Valentine, how are you, mate? Good, how are you? Good, mate. Welcome to New York. Thank you. So, how are you settling in New York, mate? Yeah, it's, good. it's going good. Random people I've never met, you know, know who I am just from uh, playing rugby league back in Australia. Do you mind getting a photo? I just want to get Val on our Hall of Fame here up on the wall. For some random people to be coming up to me like that and, and asking how I'm going and how, how the Jets is going, it's pretty cool to hear. Sharks are in again. The good luck charm. You should come in all the time, they'll win. <laughs> you know, I've got to prove to myself and to everyone, you know, that I came here, you know, real serious and I came to play and be the best, you know, athlete I can be. With Jets training camp on the horizon, Val will be forced to adjust quickly, making the most of this next opportunity. Having been placed at the running back position, there is no shortage of competition, and Val will have to prove himself. Yeah, training's been going good. I've had some good carries. It's, it's hard to get a few, yeah, because there's obviously a, a fair few of us uh, running backs, and you know everyone's got to have a go. So when I do get in, I try and show them what I can do and try my best to make as many yards as I can. With his versatility as both a back and a returner, Val is looking to join a growing list of Aussies finding success in the NFL. What protection is this? Yeah, he's good. bringing you over there, right? Uh, See okay. you, man. Lining up in the right position and knowing your route, um, knowing who you're going to protect, who you're going to block, and stuff like that. You know, I'm learning it as each day goes on, and. You know, I'm getting more confident you know, as the weeks go on and you know, it's just trying to take it day by day. It's all, uh, all you can do until preseason games come along and you start showing them what you can do on the field. Valentine's doing a nice job picking things up, learning the sport, learning how to play. Um, he's got some, got some athletic ability, there's no doubt about that. He, he works really hard. He's picking up the offense. That's not hasn't really been his issue. It's just when everything starts moving super fast, he's trying to get used to that. And I think it's 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 starting to work for him. You know, he's it's slowing down for him, and I think it'll just keep slowing down. I'm mean, I'm excited to see him get a play in some games and just kind of see how he reacts to all that. J E G S J E G S J E S J E S J E S J E S J E S J E S Coach Gase isn't the only one excited to see what Val can do on the field. Already, fans here in America are inspired by his underdog story. 
and the hype continues to grow even before his first preseason game. So how's New Jersey to Australia? Welcome, man. <laughs> not the same, right? Not the same. That's all right. We're happy yeah, to have you. Yeah, Australia this summer. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think the skill set definitely translates to the NFL because, you know, you got to be big, you got to be quick, you got to be agile, and the only big difference is the size of the ball, really. So, you know, all the intangibles are there, and I think he's going to make a big impact this year. This is a nice switch. Holmes. It will be Valentine Holmes. Okay, I'm excited for this. Competing with the best athletes in the world has proven to be a painful endeavor. Nonetheless, Valentine Holmes has flashed his ability to make plays in the open field, especially as a pass catcher. To Holmes. Trying to drive through. It's a good job getting out here. This linebacker was trying to mess with you, huh? Yeah. But you got out. You ran it right. All right, that's good. Gonna throw it to Holmes. Holmes makes one man miss and then gets hammered. With few chances to prove himself, Valentine Holmes was able to capitalize on the chances he was given and succeeded in making some noise in the NFL preseason. I was pretty excited with how it went, just with how everything and how I've taken in everything from spring all the way to this last game. Um, you know, to be able to share the field with some of these guys has been awesome and uh, you know, I pushed myself as much as I could and, and whether that be mentally, learning the playbook and physically, getting out there, trying to get as many reps as I can and, and trying to compete every day. The risks paid off as he was offered a spot on the Jets 2019 roster where he will continue with the team's practice squad for the rest of the season and with hopes of moving up in the future.